New details tonight about the five tornadoes that ripped through southern New England last week. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. The two that touched down in Situate and North Attleboro were each miles long and left behind damage that people are still trying to clean up. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us now with what we've learned about these powerful storms. Kayla. Well, Mike and Shannon, in the days since those storms on Friday, the National Weather Service has been examining data, including photos and videos from the areas that saw that damage, putting together a final report that was just released today, telling us more about the size and strength of the tornadoes that tore through our region. I've never seen wind like that. Mary McKenzie of North Attleboro says she likes to watch storms roll through. Friday was no exception. But I thought it was going to be a dud. And then I noticed that the rain started coming and it was really coming down when I realized that I had left one window open. So without thinking, she walked over to close it. When all of a sudden it hit and it threw me backwards till I hit the couch and I went over the arm of the couch. Within seconds, she says it was over. I almost had a heart attack when I looked up and saw what happened, though. The storm brought down trees in the yard of her home on Menden Road. It's here where the National Weather Service says an EF-1 tornado touched down with winds of 80 to 90 miles per hour. The storm traveled more than seven miles, ending in Mansfield. The craziest thing I've ever seen. Before that, the same storm system produced a much stronger tornado, an EF-2, that started in Situate, traveling over nine miles through Johnston and North Providence. The National Weather Service says at one point it was the width of two and a half football fields. This one that went through Rhode Island was a pretty significant tornado. Tori Dooley with the National Weather Service says it's not uncommon to see a tornado in southern New England, but the one that touched down in Situate was the strongest in the state since the 1980s. It's not that these tornadoes don't happen in Rhode Island. These tornadoes have happened in Connecticut, Massachusetts. We're just a very small little area, and sometimes these storms miss our, our, our neck of the woods. Um, so people just need to be aware that these type of storms do happen. And the National Weather Service says there were three more tornadoes spun up by this system in Stoughton, Weymouth, and Scotland, Connecticut. Only one injury was reported. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.